Hey everybody, what's up? It's Andrew. I've got a really exciting release to bring to you when it comes to the chat GPT action within workflows. Have you ever used the chat GPT action and found that it wasn't remembering things from previous conversations? Maybe the person interacting with it would say something and then it wouldn't pick up on it in the future responses. Well, now we have a fix for this. It is called history within chat GPT. We now can enable AI memory keys in order to remember past conversations in order to remember things that the person interacting with it has said before across the sub account, across the workflows. And there's a ton of really great features when it comes to using this. So let's dive right in. Now we're going to be functioning within workflows here. So within any workflow, as usual, you can add in the chat GPT action on the right hand side, which is going to be GPT powered by OpenAI. Now, when you've used this action before, you'll see lots of the similar functionality that we've always had. You can select the GPT model. You can select the action type, enter a prompt. And then at the bottom down here, we now have a new toggle for enable history. Now, if we turn this on, the GPT will draw insights from previous GPT action executions in multiple different settings in order to provide more relevant and customized responses. And this will only work on GPT-4 models. If we toggle this on, then we will see our first setting, which is history four. Now we have five different types of history. We have history for this sub account, this workflow, per execution, this step, and custom. Now, history for this sub account will make sure that ChatGPT remembers all ChatGPT conversations across all workflows within the sub account. This workflow will remember only conversations that happen within this workflow. Per execution will only remember conversations within a single execution of a workflow. So every time somebody re-enters, it will wipe the memory clean. This step, which will only remember conversations on this action across multiple executions, and then custom, and we'll get into that later. And there's a lot of different use cases for all these different types of histories. For example, if you want history enabled for the entire sub account, maybe this can be useful for internal tools, maybe sharing data back and forth across the account and having conversations between contacts where GPT needs to remember things from other conversations and pull them into separate user interactions. Enabling this workflow or enabling per execution can be really good ways to interact with customers one-on-one. -on -one. So that way, let's say customers tell you their name, tell you they have a dog, tell you any information about themselves really, then that way GBT will remember that information when they interact with them in the future. If you plan on GBT having really long conversations over an extended period of time with people, then this workflow may be a good option. So that way it doesn't forget things whenever people leave the workflow and then come back into it. However, if you're dealing with people in one-off situations, or maybe you only want it to remember specific entries and allow people to have multiple entries or interactions with the GPT, then per execution could be good as well. And this step and custom have lots of other use cases that I'm sure you can think of as well. Now for the first four, you can select any of them and then save your action and immediately go on with using this workflow as long as you filled out the rest of the information. But for custom, there's one specific piece of information that you'll need in order to make it work. You'll see that for custom memories, a memory key is required. Now, what is a memory key? Essentially, every custom chat GPT entity has its own memory key that associates with all the different contexts that it's given throughout its lifespan. So what we can do here is create our own custom memory key and then use this key across other workflow actions where we want to access the exact same chat GPT memory. This can be really helpful if you're trying to create a tool that wants to access different memories at different workflows at different points in time with different interactions with any users. This gives you lots of opportunities to create really cool tools using AI and these custom keys. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with it. Here in our advanced options dropdown, we have our temperature, which is included on any GPT action, regardless of if it has history or not. And then these last three sections for system instructions and then the last two toggle switches are there only if you have history turned on. Now we've all seen system instructions before, but this time with history, it'll enable it for all of the different GPT actions that have history enabled and that where it's going to be used. You can designate things like the tone of voice, the type of conversation it needs to have, how many words it needs to respond with and things like that. Then underneath it, you can see we have two toggle switches, one to exclude instruction from history. So if we turn this on, then our instruction will not be saved within history and therefore will not be referenced whenever conversations are being had with this GPT specifically. And then we also have exclude responses from history, which if you toggle this on, then it will only store data that is not a part of the actual conversation flow. And if you think about it, the GPT actually goes much beyond the conversation flow, analyzing things like intents, analytics, tracking, instructions, and things like that. So if you want to create a GPT using high level that doesn't store history from conversations with users directly, then you can switch on that toggle switch. Once you customize all these different settings for your GPT action, and of course input a prompt, then you can save and now reference this GPT action in the same workflow and of course across the sub account if you have those different settings for history enabled. The ability to designate what type of history you're going to have for your GPT is really cool and especially being able to create custom GPTs and then reference them in different workflows is absolutely wild. So I'm really pumped to see how you guys can use this within your businesses to help you grow, to help you help more people. 
And of course, you know, I'm going to be playing around with it as well. If you have any questions about best use cases or how this feature works, then feel free to leave a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.